So, so Jeff, yeah. uh, you mentioned the stability from a player standpoint on defense. You bring back most of the defense. The stability is always just on the player side, though. Right. When, when we talk about the coaching staff, that's a whole other deal because you talk about new faces all over the place. Uh, that's pretty much um, the storyline here in 2017. Yeah, and one thing Coach Fedora told me a few years ago is that he's never had a year – as a head coach where there wasn't some turnover in coaching. It's just the nature of the business. It's very hard to keep everybody intact. So what happened in this off season, um, defense coordinator, Gene Chizik decided to step away from coaching and spend time with his family. And because of that, obviously there had to be some shuffling. Um, also departing were coach Warren, the defensive backs coach, coach Scott, the defensive line coach, Coach Papuchas, who's the linebacker coach last year, now moves over to the defensive coordinator spot. He came Before he came to North Carolina, he was the defense coordinator at Nebraska. And coming in with him now, uh, Coach Joseph out of Texas A&M will coach the DBs. Coach Eckler out of North Texas will coach the linebacker, uh, linebacker core. And then you've got Coach Adams coaching the defensive line. The interesting thing is, again, with how coaching is and the networking, uh, there was a, st a good story this week by Lee Pace, on GoHeels.com that showed uh, a picture of Coach Papuchas, Coach Joseph, and Coach Eckler as all grad assistants back on the LSU uh, coaching staff under Nick Saban and defense coordinator at the time, um, Bo Pelini, who had some they, – they had some good success there. So these guys are basically getting reunited. If you talk to them, it's kind of neat because they will tell stories about how as grad assistants they talked about one day maybe being able to be the head guys and the main guys and – now they have their chance to really lead this defense. And again, I think they're going to need the defense to lead the team early in the season. So the good news is, is these guys already know each other. They've already meshed. They kind of know how to work with each other. And that's kind of helped them hit the ground running so far in spring ball. Jeff Greenberg, again, joins us from inside the ACC. Uh, Jeff's been covering uh, Carolina football and basketball for quite some time, as well as the ACC. And in addition to the obvious knowledge and insight of the nuts and bolts and the X's and O's that he provides us, uh, always find some interesting uh, storylines and angles. Uh, so join Jeff in, in a number of areas. And, and in particular, again, I, I mentioned this from time to time, that uh, Jeff's one of the the few across the country in the media that has uh, access to a uh, big time uh, college football coach. Uh, Jeff, uh, can you tell us uh, where people can find your conversations with uh, Coach Fedora? Yeah, in addition, like you mentioned, inside the ACC.com on goheels.com during the season, um, some in the offseason, but mainly during the season, every Monday morning, it shows up on goheels.com. Uh, Five with Fedora is an interview series I do with him to, as uh, during the season to recap the game that week and looking forward to the next game. All right, Jeff, we always appreciate the breakdown. Thanks, Mark.